I live in Incline Village, Nevada, and I'm a plein air oil painter. I love painting aspen trees, and I love mountains. I love big, wide open meadow scenes that have mountains in the distance. Most of my plein air painting is around the Lake Tahoe area. Some of my favorite places are up at the Mount Rose Meadow, any of the East Shore beaches that you can hike down to. I also love the Mount Rose Lookout because it's just easy, you can pull right up, it's right there on the side of the road, it's just a great vantage point in all different directions and it's never the same. Some days the wind's up and the lake's really blue, deep blue, and then sometimes it, it's calm and it's like a total glass reflection. When I paint the lake, I wear polarized glasses <laughs> so that I can see the color more intense because I can see through the glare. Outside on location, you know, obviously you're dealing with, you know, the weather is doing its dance and the lights changing and the shadows are moving. So you really have to work quickly. So you gotta seize the moment, carpe diem, just go, you, know, you can't mess around. And that lends itself to having kind of a looser painting because you're working under just a quick impression of it. The progression of my paintings normally is I start from the back or either work top to bottom or back to front. I start with the thing that's the furthest away and then gradually get closer and closer. And I like a spot where I can have something that's in the foreground and the middle ground and the distance. Because one of the challenges of painting is getting the, that right relationship between the sky and those first couple layers of mountains. And then once I have that, I should just kind of gradually keep getting darker and warmer and of course bigger. The mountains get bigger as they get closer and then the trees get bigger and the trees get greener and your eyes start to see color more and more as it gets closer and I'm always trying to get as much depth in the painting to you know kind of pull you in and make it feel like it's 3D, like it's actually going back. I paint with a, a palette knife, and painting with the palette knife allows me to get texture in the different ways that I use it. It lends itself to the water having movement, you know, a little more choppy, and, and if I just don't smooth the paint as much and I'll leave the paint a little rougher, it also makes the water look a little rougher. And then, you know, putting little bits of white here and there also kind of helps it look like it has more movement to it. As long as I don't overwork it or overmix it, if I just put it on and leave it, you know, I get some really great texture marks. So the, the skill really to get the texture is to stop yourself. It's kind of like if you were buttering your bread. If you spend a lot of time, it's gonna be all perfectly spread. But if you just put it on quick, you're gonna get lumps and chunks of butter. It lends itself to a looser, more impressionistic style. It's hard to get too perfect. I mean, I've managed to get some skill and some mastery so I can get a little more precise with some detail, but you're never gonna be too perfect, you know? And so this just helps me to, I think, loosen up. And I love thick paint. No one's gonna look at my paintings and wonder like, is that a print or is that a jacle or is that, like it's a painting, You, it has paint. I feel like if you're gonna have buy a painting, you should have some paint. <laughs> I've lived in Tahoe 23 years and I, I still get blown away with the colors and the beauty of the lake, it never gets old. Being out there painting on location, it just, it, it's very relaxing, it's very soothing, it's very calming. There's a, the time flies by. The closest thing I could maybe equate it to would be maybe the experience some people get when they meditate, but there's a zone that you get into connecting with nature and it, it does feel like a spiritual experience for me.